What's going on guys, The Barber Phil here back again with another haircut tutorial and we're going to kick things off with the very long overdue purchase that I, I made last weekend. Uh, we picked up the Tune 45 power mat as well as um, three clips for the clippers that I use the most which is the Cordless Senior, the Cordless Magic Clip and the Babless FX Trimmer uh, as well as one of the Eco batteries. So go to the link in this description to Tune45.com's website. You can take a look at those. I highly suggest it. Don't wait as long as I did. It'll, it'll totally change the game for you guys. And then also associated with Tune45, if you haven't seen their online academy, I highly suggest you take a look at that. It's a $20 uh, subscri monthly subscription-based academy online. There are there's chat groups, discussion groups, and then S-Craft Blends, Get Beamed, Dre Cut It Out, Sean Cuts Hair, and Chris Bazio himself, they do... Um, they do live haircut tutorials um, where they they have the videos uncut unfiltered the full 35 45 minute haircuts from their channels um, they break it down they can zoom in they can draw on the screen they can pause it answer all the questions you have it's a perfect way guys to learn from some of the best in the industry get your questions answered directly right there on the spot so take a look at that I'm gonna have the link in the description of this video and then as far as this haircut goes today, we are going to start things off. This is a long overdue, uh, he's, he's been due for haircut for a while. We're gonna do what I called a weighted pompadour. So we're gonna naturally part it on the left, take the front back. We're gonna have it really textured uh, and it's gonna blend really well once we get into the fade. You guys will like how that turns out. Um, but anyways guys, without further ado, let's get right into this video. As you guys can see, pretty grown out, so we're gonna start things off by saturating the hair, and I'm gonna comb it in the direction that we are going to, uh, to begin cutting it, uh, and kind of give it the shape that, that, that we're going for, and we'll start cutting the top from there. So in this particular haircut, I decided to start in the crown area on the top and work my way forward. We're point cutting all the way through. We're not doing any blunt cuts straight across. Um, and what you'll notice me doing, and I've done this in other videos, I'm 5'5", five five, so if um, a client's too tall, I will pinch the hair in between my middle and my pointer finger just like I always do, just like a lot of barbers do. But what I have to do is angle my hands back almost to me in a way so that I can see it better uh, so that's what you'll see me doing a lot through here I don't know if that's you know I don't know if it's right wrong or if it'll help you at all uh, but that is something that I have to do being you know shorter in stature so, so let me know if you get any of you guys have to do the same if, if, if that's not the right technique let me know if, if I'm doing something wrong there and I will try to figure out another way that works better So once I got the top cut down to the desired length, I took the blow dryer, added some sea salt spray, and I'm going to blow dry the hair in both directions, in the shape that we're going for, and then also in the opposite direction. This is going to erase any memory that the hair has, and it's also going to add volume uh, once you do go back over to the actual direction that you're going for. And then we're going to start the fade off on the sides. This is a three guard with the purple uh, Andes guard set. Uh, I'm using my Cordless Senior Modify with the Andes Master Blade. Uh, if you don't have this combination, it's a, it's a very awesome combination to have. I love mine. Uh, it's, um, fil it's filthy underscore blends on Instagram. Uh, you can go to the link from his page and pick one of these up. It's an awesome way to keep the Senior or the Magic Clip in your hand, but be able to use the purple Andes guards at the same time. So just below the three guard that we did up and off the head, now we're coming in with an open two guard, removing some of that bulk closer down to the, to the hairline itself. 
Now I'm using a one guard open. This is gonna blend up into the two. And this is also what we will blend the taper up into in the temple area. And then once we get down to the neck area as well. So we're gonna start the taper here with the closed no guard. We're gonna halfway open it up, take about a half inch section or so to the top of the ear, open it all the way up. This will blend most of the way into the one guard we just did. And we'll probably come right back in with the zero guard and blend it all together. our gold babbles fx trimmers here we're going to go ahead and hit the the front box area there and then continue it down doing the semicircle there for the c cup we're going to go ahead and get around his ears make sure you fold that ear down scoop out just above the top of the ear that's the spot where a lot of barbers tend to leave hair just being in too big of a hurry and then we'll go ahead and put a sharp line on the back of the beard Now to soften the weight a little bit, we're gonna come in with clipper over comb. This is a good angle to see what I do. I scoop under the hair, up through it, and then I angle the top of the comb where the teeth are. I angle that out away from the head, run the blade straight across there. This is a good way to remove bulk, but with that angle on the comb, you are not, you know, you're not taking it too close and you're, you're maintaining that weight. So I'll let it ride for a minute, but basically what we're doing is we have the three guard open and we're running it straight up through the base of the hair all the way up off the parietal ridge area. This is going to remove a lot of the bulk from the sides and then once you get to the top and you come off the parietal ridge, that's going to blend the sides up into the top. Especially since we've already point cut the top, it's textured as it is. It's cut shorter. We've already blow dried it into the style that we want. As you can see, other than maybe coming in with some blending shears around the you know right around the connection between the, the sides and the top it's pretty much blended all the way in now we're coming in with the two guard open knocking it down even more we'll do the one guard just below that and then we'll be able to taper right into that So for the taper in the back, we do have more surface area to work with, so we're going to take this ball line up just a little bit higher. We're using our FX trimmers, clearing out the bulk at the bottom, leaving this in like a half semi arch circle here, coming in with our backed up trimmers just above that, flicking that line out. We're going to use our magic clip. This is the lever all the way closed, taking out that backed up trimmer line. We're going to open the lever all the way up, make about a three-fourths of an inch to maybe an inch section, close it halfway up. It'll take that bottom line out. You'll see it disappear in just a sec. And then we're going to use the wall premium half guard to hit that dark spot just above where I'm hitting right now. And it'll connect all together right up into the one guard with the purple Andy set that we just did a minute ago. So pay close attention here if you can. As you can see, once I get this half guard just through the line that I'm trying to remove, I'm really rocking it out at the top, flicking out. Uh, obviously, we're not trying to push that up any higher than what we need to. Uh, that's just going to cause more work later. So that's just a quick tip. Just make sure you, you hit the line that you want to hit and then get that guard off the head so that you don't cause more work later. So 
if you watch close what I'm doing here, I'm folding the ear down and because we're doing the left ear, we're just using the right half, maybe even the last fourth of the blade here. We're pivoting it around the ear there, making sure that we comb the hair past the line, over direct it past, and then make sure you scoop out all the hair. You don't leave anything behind that, you know, you know, a week later he's gonna really notice the hair you left behind his ear. Don't do that. So to soften that blend a little bit between the bottom and the top, we're going to use the 13T blending shears. I'm going to run the comb through the hair, kind of opposite of the direction that it's going. So that way it feeds through the teeth of the comb really well. We're going to keep continuing to move the blending shears up through there. Because if you stop in, too, in a place for too long, you're going to end up removing more hair than what you want. Obviously, this is going to soften that blend and add a little more texture so that he can get away with maybe sometimes not using as much product and it'll still, you know, have a really good look to it. Now, going back in with our FX trimmers, we're going to do the C cup on this right side. We're going to do the right ear, so we're going to fold the ear down, use the left side of our blade, fold the ear down, clean out all the hair above it, follow that down the natural neckline and then we'll get right into the beard work. So the same steps for the taper apply on this side. We're starting with a no guard lever close, doing a small section there, and then we're gonna open it halfway up, take it to about the edge of the top of the ear there, open it all the way up, and then we'll come in with a zero guard, blend this up into the one, now what I like to do, I like to brush the beard line past the actual line that I'm going to hit. This is going to, that way anytime he is doing anything, he sleeps on it, whatever, when he wakes up, this line is going to be sharp. Still maintains the bulk and the, the length of the beard, but it always leaves it clean at the same time. And then have, him, have your client tilt their head back a little bit. Give it a nice shape and I love the way beards look once you put a nice sharp line on the bottom. It just really makes a beard come together. So fading the beard down for the most part is the same as fading the temple up. Uh, you're just going in the opposite direction. So that was an open no guard. Now I took the one and a half, I closed it, bumped that line out. Now I took the one and a half and I'm going with the growth of the hair. This is really blending it out. And then whenever you take the, um, the trimmers and you really put a sharp line on it and come back in with the razor, it really makes this, this line pop. So we did the same thing on the other side. I just went ahead and sped it up and skipped it. We're applying the, uh, the Tomb 45 shave gel here. This is our exposed blade. We're gonna stretch the skin, hold the razor at a 45 degree angle and bring it back to the line, keeping everything consistent. And come through here, get all that extra cheek hair out of the way. Hit the 13 T's a little bit on the weighted side here. Come back through, take it all the way around. So here's my twist on a weighted pompadour. Um, a lot of places may call this just a simple comb over and you're just taking the front back. And if that's what most people would call it, then my apologies. Uh, I defined it as a pompadour. I used to rock one uh, similar to this myself. But anyways, guys, that's neither here nor there. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit it. Turn on that notification bell. We're sticking with Sunday and Wednesday right now. Leave me a comment in the comment section if there's two other days that would work better. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. As always, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Later.